hi guys and welcome to the latest vlog it is now Thursday morning um, I think it's probably just after 8 and um, because it's Rebecca's later start to work today so I'm out taking Alf for a short walk down the canal it is a beautiful day um, today is going to be slightly different sorry about the lighting it does change um, today's going to be slightly different um, uh, in in my um, order of doing things so once I drop Rebecca off normally I go back to the office and do the shipping um, I think we've got about five RC parts to pull and ship so again it's been very quiet the general store seems to have suffered this week we've only had one day of sales the other days have been dock days which has not been like the other like the rest of April the rest of April has been really good but since Saturday I think we've had a big downturn in sales um, so today is a good opportunity once I've dropped Rebecca off to go out and do a little bit of sourcing and then go back and finish off the shipping and then get on with the okay, day. Guys, I'm back in the office now it's half past 11 when I say back in the office I'm actually just got into the office for the first time today half past 11 and it's one of those mornings where I feel that um, sourcing for individual items can be such a crapshoot um, it can be so random and it can be such a big waste of time um, so I've come out today feeling a bit dejected I found one item so far uh, today um, and you know was it worth the time spent in traffic the time spent out of the office when I could be listing multi-quantity listings probably not um, got this it's basically a rugby top an embroidered rugby top um, it's a pretty good buy it was for two pounds um, and one sold on eBay the same thing at auction for 22 35 plus shipping so that's not a terrible find but really um, not something that's worth going out for um, these are the occasions where I remember why I love buying in bulk so much why I like buying multi quantity so much and why I like having contacts because I'm not just randomly going out hoping to find stuff um, even if you have like a honey hole charity shop or set of shops you still know you still have no guarantee that you're gonna find good stuff every time you go um, and it's just the way it is so here are the parts that sold. Slim Pickings, that was a £6 sale. That was a £4 sale. That was a £30 sale. Um, £10 and £10. So five orders um, in total uh, need, that need to be shipped out. And nothing there of particular value. And unfortunately no sales on the general store. But we have to keep going, um, keep listing more stock and um, turn it around. This is something I need to get better at. I often waste way too much time trying to figure out whether to job lot things, whether to fix them, to split them, to re you know, so whether whether I should repair these cars, whether I should sell them as a job lot, whether I should just sell bits separately. I need to be kind of figuring that out a lot quicker and wasting a lot less time. Okay, guys, I thought I'd give you a quick update. Right now, my head is spinning. It is ten to four. I think I've only done eleven listings, but it's been a lot of um source like sorting out uh you know photographing researching and you get to that point where you're just like i need to get out of here and get something to eat and i think i'm at that point right now i am starving um though it doesn't look it i just i am actually hungry um and i'm happy with the work i've gotten done but man we've got so much work to do guys um but still pretty pleased with the amount of work done like i said only managed to do like 10 listings on the rc store um or is it 11 i think and then only the one on the um the hobby uh, the, on the general store because that uh, is all i managed to find today while i was out um i'm probably gonna go out again for another look just before i go to pick rebecca up for a, another bit of sourcing um but right now i've got to kind of sort all of this out and i've still got that shipping to take to the post office morning guys it's actually good friday today i didn't finish my vlog off yesterday um but i'm gonna finish it off today and um we're in the office both beck and i beck's off work so we've come in we're the only ones in today by the looks of it no one else has turned up unless they've come in done and well it's only half 10 in the morning so i'm guessing no one else is turning up today um so we've got the whole building um to ourselves which means we can speak a bit louder 
Yeah, go, go for it. Right, when I'm normally recording in the office, I speak a little bit on the quiet side, just to kind of feel confident and comfortable, because I don't want to disturb the other businesses. But anyway, uh, the plan for today is to keep on top of the shipping. We've had some shipping coming in. Uh, we need to do that. I need to get out and do a bit more sourcing because we've now got no new stock for the general store at all to list because we've listed everything. Um, Rebecca? Listing and sorting. Yeah, lots RC. of lots of listing yeah. and sorting RC. Um, yesterday in the end, I think I managed to do just 11 listings on the RC store and I did just one on the general store which was the one item I picked up. So there's only 12 items. But there was a lot of sorting out to do to get those listed, um, so I kind of don't mind that type so much. But because um, I was doing used stuff, whereas Beck likes to deal with the new and pack it. It's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we'll catch up with you later. Okay, it's twelve twenty-three. I've just booted Beck off the PC. She was eating crisps. Um, and I need to do the shipping, so I just boot her off. We've only got one PC at the moment, which is very frustrating. I decided against going into town because I thought it's just not efficient to go all the way into Preston with, without any guarantee of what I'm going to find. It would just be a massive time sink sourcing in charity shops like that. I just don't think it's very good value. I, I like popping into certain charity shops when I'm in Preston, dropping Rebecca off. But the thought of going in for like a 30 minute drive each way well, a 20 minute drive each way to be fair, but still 40, 50 minutes round trip, not including driving between the shops, and also the chance that you're not gonna find anything, just put me off. So instead I just went to the local, local, local tip shop. Um, I think I've picked up a nice little haul um, of stuff. I only paid seven pounds for it, and it's actually this lot of um, Warhammer uh, books. So I don't really know a great deal about them. I did a quick little search on a couple of the books. I think one of them certainly is worth a little bit of money. Uh, by that I mean maybe around 15, 20 odd pounds, something maybe more. Um, I can't even remember which one it is now, but <laughs> there's a bunch of these books. These here are like Neil Asher books. I don't know about those. Um, these hardback books don't seem to be worth a huge amount. Um, but then you've got these Warhammer Chronicles, um, Rise of Nagash, then you've got Path of the Dark Elder. I don't know what any of this means really. Death Watch, uh, another Neil Asher book. Um, this book here seems to have a little bit of value, I think. Could be completely wrong. Um, <laughs> the Vampire Wars, Space Wolf. Yeah, there's just more of this. Um, all of this for seven pounds. I thought there's got to be some books. Vengeful Spirit, Garrow, uh, that one, <laughs> the Ma the Masherian Crusade, that one. This book I think has got a little bit of value. I think someone sold one of these for like fifteen or twenty quid. Um, the Odd Death of the Old World, um, Legend of Sigma, and then there's this one which is the War Without End, and another one of those. I think I've got two of those, I'm not sure, and then some of these codex books, I know that some of these lose value once the rules change or something, but it was all included, so all of this lot for um, uh, £7. I'm hoping to make some money, I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this, I'm part of me thinking just bundle it and get rid, um, but I will do some quick eBaying and any of the ones that are worth selling individually, I think I will... I will do that and then the rest will probably just go in an auction and um, I'll get rid of them that way. Um, yeah. Don't know what that was, do you know? I don't know what that was. No. That didn't sound good. No. Beck has been watching knitting streams, by the way, whilst working and we drink zero sugar co-op fizzy energy drink. What were you going to say? I wasn't really watching it, it's just it's in the background. Oh, okay, you should, I just wanted to put that out there, did you? Okay. Alright guys. Diablo on the beat, bitch. <laughs> I'm obviously going to cut that out. I'm going to cut that out. Um, of course you're going to have to cut that out. Maybe, you can't see that. Maybe I'll leave it in there. I don't know why. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, because there's such a wicked beat going on right now. There isn't, but you know, it's just this in my head. Cause, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, it's now <laughs> 2.20 on... Good Friday. Yeah. Um, we came into the office and did a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. uh, got... 20 listings put up on the hobby store, mm -hmm. um, did a couple of photographs for the general store, um, managed to pick up, for the, if you missed it earlier, those books as well, those um, Warhammer books, 
I'm not going to get a chance to look at those today because Beck was listing on the computer I was taking photos. Um, it's one of the downsides of having two of us in here when there's one computer. Um, oh, I went out yeah. and cleaned the office. Well, we still did well. We still did well. Yeah. Um, but it would be even better when we have to. But anyway, um, I'm going to end the vlog um, today. Um, I wasn't meant to end it yesterday. So it's probably gone on a little bit longer. Uh, okay. But yeah, it's just another vlog. This is how, we, this is how we're doing things, really. Yeah. how we're doing things. Yeah, exactly. That's how it is. Yeah. Just remember Diablo's and the beat guys, right? And I'll see you guys in the next video.